that. But hello, everybody who's watching this. Um, I just want to check in, say hello, let you know how I'm doing. Um, obviously, a public relationship ending is a really shitty thing to have to navigate. But you guys have been very kind and supportive. And I just wanted to say thank you um, for being that way to me and to Blake and just being understanding. Um, I think a lot of people, I don't know, hold too much weight to things that don't matter. You know, like, I don't know. I'm a big believer in like your happiness. Your happiness is the most important thing. And that being said, why would you not pursue that? You know, I think a lot of people stay in relationships because they've put so much time and effort into it. And they keep waiting for new results, thinking like, oh, well, once this happens, it'll change. Or once, once we get engaged, or once we get married, once we have kids, like whatever, things will change, they'll get better, you know? And sometimes, sometimes you don't have to wait for like a big thing. And that's the thing. I think a lot of people are like, well, what really happened? What's the big thing that happened with, with Katie and Blake? And it's like, we were together for six months. Blake and I are very level-headed and mature and we communicate very well on our thoughts and we just both knew like if this is how our first six months was as a couple going forward it was going to not be in our best interest for our happiness to stay together and so we you know as mentioned mutually decided to part our ways but we still stay in touch we still support each other nothing but love and respect truly. Um, oh, sorry, Thomas, hair just got my freaking eye. Um, yeah, it's a tough thing to, to navigate because of, then of course people question like the authenticity of the love and the relationship. And you know, for those people passing judgment, like I can only hope to be so lucky as you as to find your forever love on the first time, you know? But ending a relationship isn't something new. Ending an engagement isn't something new. Divorce is not something new, you know, and I think Blake and I were very fortunate enough to recognize things early and, I don't know, made the best decision for us. That doesn't come with its own challenges. Like, we are still processing a lot of, like, waves of emotion. Like, I don't know. It's a lot. <laughs> I didn't expect to like do this, but um, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to hop on and just say thank you to those who are still here and, and following whatever my new newest adventure or journey is. Um, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, I just wanna say thank you. That's it, like really, that's all it comes down to. Um, yeah, obviously it's a lot. Um, but as I was trying to say so confidently, and, and I am confident in it, it's just, it's like I said, it's just a lot of things to go through, is um, at the end of the day, your happiness is what's important. You know, and, and if something is taking that away from you, and, and that's not even a dig at, at Blake, that's just a, like a dig at what him and I were as, as partners, um, then we owe it to each other to, to step away. And so that's what we're doing. <sighs> anyway, I, f I don't even remember how I started this video, but happy Halloween weekend. Again, thank you for your love and support. And I hope to continue to just get to know you guys as a community of people and show you more of who I am, you know, through my lens, not through the lens of, of a franchise, not through the lens of like Blake's fiance, but just me as Katie. Um, hopefully, once I kind of get back in the swing of things, uh, you'll get to see see more of who I am and and what I have to offer as a person. And I don't know, people from like my my TikTok era before before the Bachelor, before the Bachelorette. I think 
got to really see that personality and that girl I, I miss the most. Um, so yeah, we'll get there. I'm still kind of figuring out my life here in San Diego. But that being said, I'm hoping to plan a vision board live, which I know some of you just barfed in your mouth <laughs> hearing that. But if um, you feel like joining me on my live, drinking some wine, whatever, drink of choice, um, start planning now, get some old magazines, start clipping out words and images of things that you hope for for 2022. And I will let you know as soon as I have a date, we'll go live, do that together. And um, yeah, just get to know each other. Anyway, be safe this weekend, have fun. And uh, just remember to put yourself first.